Hello people, we are going to bake a vector displacement map using standard Blender tools. Delete the default cube and add a plane. Press Ctrl-1 to add subdivisions type 8, switch type to simple and hit apply. Now we are going to sculpt something on the plane. and go to Shading Workspace let's add a new material and a new plane with a simple subdivision of 8 well not apply subdivision let's use texture coordinate node and see what we have and what we want so we have the UV coordinates and we want to turn them into optic coordinates to get the vector pointing from each point on the plane to each point on the rock. How do we do that? Easy. We just add coordinates and scale. Now if we subtract the optic coordinates from what we've got, we, we should get black, which is zero. But when we swap the coordinates, we get blue, and this is because we add uh, 0 0.5 to 0 and multiplied by 2 which we get 1 um, right and this is why we want to use the original object coordinates z component and the rest is subtracted so this is our vector displacement map of our rock but there is something else missing uh, we'll create a new texture and We create a new texture and it's going to have 32 bits and non-color data and uh, we add map range so that we can get negative coordinates uh, so that we can have negative coordinates uh, in our texture as well and we map them from 0 to 1 and we just go to cycles and bake the texture once the bake is finished let's go to image editor and save our image Let's go back to Shader Editor and let's switch the displacement type to true so that they actually get some displacement out in our geometry. And now let's remap our range back to negative 1 to 1 from 0 to 1. So on top we are going to have 0 to 1 and on the bottom negative 1 to 1 and we want to disable clamp so that it doesn't get clamped to 0 and 1 it can go beyond that so once we once we go to rendered mode we should see our displacement working perfectly fine and we should see two identical planes if you heard the dev saying that implementing the vector displacement brush is very simple and it's not the issue after seeing this video, you can realize that for us Blender users it is. The purpose of this video is to show that you can bake a VDM brush, but the only issue is you can't use it. And we mortals looking at the mess of code for sculpt tools cannot implement that by ourselves. The link to the VDM brush feature on right-click select will be in the description. Go there and upload the post.